Paula, it's Jennifer and Isabel Rodriguez in West Jordan, Utah. How are you today? We love to celebrate Cinco de Mayo and celebrate my husband's family's heritage. And today I'm going to make for you a spin on the original cream cheese shrimp cocktail appetizer. We're going to have all those flavors in it. We're going to have the original cream cheese, we're going to have some lemon juice, we're going to have shrimp, we're going to have cocktail sauce, and we're going to have a nice coating. But we are going to kick it up a notch for Cinco de Mayo. Are you ready, Izzy? Okay. okay. Hi, Gigi. Can you say hi, Paula? Hi. Hi, Paula. Hi, Gigi. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do hi. is add three-fourths of a cup of softened hi. original Philly okay. cream cheese. Hi, hi. hi Gigi. You are such a good helper, Isabel. We're going to add a fourth a cup of the salmon flavored Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, the great thing. Cream cheese! The great thing about Philadelphia cream cheese is the flavored ones, they're not overpowering. You just get a good flavor undertone. I know, we're going to have lots of cream cheese. Okay, so a fourth a cup of the salmon. Okay. And then we're going to add a half cup of chopped white onion. You can also do a sweet onion if you like. Okay, and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of garlic. Okay. Mmm, do you like garlic? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Mmm. Mmm. Is that a cheese? Yeah, we're gonna add the garlic to the cheese. Okay. Okay. The gold cheese, the gold cheese. You think garlic goes well with cream cheese? The gold cheese. Okay. Is that the gold cheese? Yes. The gold cheese. Okay, and then we're gonna add a fourth a cup of mayonnaise. I hear you. I know. Okay. And then we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. Please don't buy that bottled fake lemon juice. Get the fresh stuff. There are some really beautiful lemons out there right now. So just go ahead and get those. So just a teaspoon and a half. And then we're actually going to add a, another teaspoon of garlic powder. It smells good already, doesn't it, sweetie? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh, daddy. <laughs> and then we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire. This just comes together so quick. And you know, it's great for any party, but we especially love it for Cinco de Mayo. Okay, so another teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire. Cheese. Yeah, and cheese. The cheese is in there, sweetheart. And then we have a half cup of cooked shrimp. Now what I did is I bought the frozen cooked shrimp that has been peeled with tails on. You're just going to pop them in boiling water for just a couple minutes, and then you're all done. So just chop them up and toss them in there. All done. All done. Okay, we're almost all done. It's really, really quick. And then we have a half cup of cocktail sauce. Now you could do the spicy cocktail sauce if you wanted to, but remember we're making jalapeno poppers and you don't want the heat to be overwhelming. So I just did the original. But it's up to you, whatever you like. Mama. Okay, and that's it, that's all we have, okay? So we're just gonna mix that all up. Izzy, now we've been working on this this week. Can you say, Paula, pick my mommy? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting better at it. Maybe by dessert week we'll have it down. Okay. And that just comes together so quickly with a softened cream cheese. Mm, smell good. That's good, huh? Doesn't that smell good? Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. oh, Mama can't pick you up. We're right in the middle of filming. Okay, you just get busy working on yours, okay? All right, and that's all you have for the filling. Now we have over here... Oh some fresh jalapeno peppers that have been cut in half, stemmed, and what I do is I wash out the seeds. That's where a lot of the heat is carried. And then I go back with a spoon, and I just make sure I get all that vein out, because you have a lot of heat in the vein as well. I just want them really nice and pretty and dry. Make sure that they're very dry, because we're gonna be dipping them in milk and a crumb coating, and you wanna make sure it's gonna adhere well. So what you do is just take a spoonful of your little shrimp mixture, get it all in there, and that's it. And we're just going to go down the line. So good. Now, now what we have over here is a cup of 2% milk, 
a cup of just plain white flour, and a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. And here's what we do. You take your popper, you dip it in the milk, just kind of drain it off a little bit, and then you're gonna roll it in your flour. Just get a nice coating on it. Okay, and then that's it. You're gonna let that sit for just a minute. And we'll continue to do these. It's really, really quick. While you're doing these, have your deep fryer heating up so it gets nice and hot. Okay. Again, I'm not gonna go through each and every one of these. I'm just gonna give you an idea of what you do. So after these have had a chance to set a little bit, you're gonna take them again and dip them right in the milk. Kind of drain it off. And you're gonna bring it over here to the breadcrumbs. There you go. Get a nice coating on that. It's gonna give it such good taste and crispiness to it. And bring it on over here. Oh. They just come together so quick. Dip it in the milk. Dip it in the flour. <laughs> now, if you wanted to, you could season the flour. But since we have the um, the seasoned uh, bread coating, you don't need to worry about that too much. Alright, we'll be back in just a minute and I'll show you the deep frying. And we're back. If you want to take a look, these are our unfried poppers. So we've already done the milk, flour, milk, breadcrumbs twice. You want to do that twice. And you want to give them a chance just to sit for just a bit. And now we have our little fry daddy. And you can fry about two or three of these at a time. This has been heating up, so we're gonna go ahead and drop those in there. Now watch out, it does bubble up pretty good. Ooh, it's hot. It is hot, sweetheart, it is. Okay, so we're gonna put three in there, and you're gonna fry those up for about two to three minutes. You want them to get a nice golden brown coating. Hot, 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 daddy. Mm -hmm. Izzy, do you like the shrimp undercover dip poppers? No. No? Can you tell Paula I love them? <laughs> All right, let's take another look at these. They're getting there. Okay. And it does bubble up a lot, so if you're cooking in the kitchen with little ones, you do want them to be a couple feet away. Okay, and those look pretty good. So just want to come on over, cameraman, without getting hit with oil. <laughs> We're just going to drain these over here on some paper towels. They just look so perfect. I love that coating on them. All right, we're going to finish these up. And we're going to be back in just a minute with our final presentation of our undercover shrimp dip poppers. And this is our final presentation of the shrimp dip undercover <laughs> poppers. I think it looks beautiful. And a great thing about this presentation is it lets your guests know what to expect inside. We have the beautiful extra shrimp here. Let them know there's a little shrimp, some lemon slices, and a really nice cocktail sauce to dip in. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Take a little lemon juice. Just pour it right on over that popper. And I'll dip it in some cocktail sauce. Let's try that. Mmm, mmm, mm. look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's so good. You want to try a bite, Is? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Paula, these are so tasty. You have the nice crispness of the jalapeno, the crispy texture of your coating, and then the creamy traditional shrimp dip inside. It's so yummy. I really hope you try these, and I want to thank you and Kraft Cheese and <laughs> Philadelphia Cream Cheese for this opportunity. Thank you again. <laughs>